Hey, yo, what's going on, bro? Once again, bros, women, bronies, and Pegasus, the one, the only course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Corsing Act 2009. Of course, you guys on the rest of the intro to this channel. And before I begin, definitely check out freenote.com. Of course, you'll notice I'm not finding people on special channel banners. I have a picture made for you. All the good stuff. I'll put their links here. All their good stuff in the description box below. If any people are interested in partnership, best partnership I've ever had. And of course, check them out on Google and give them a listen to. So, today, um, I'm trying to make this as quick as I can because um, I don't actually have work today. I'm off today, thank goodness. But um, as you can tell, it's starting to get very dark out there. Maybe and the camera doesn't really see it very much, but I can see it. And <laughs> I wanted to do two videos during the day because um, unfortunately my electricity bill's going, been going up very, very high lately. So um, I'm trying not to use my, um, my light, my lamp, and my um, fan out there too much. So that way I'll rank up the bill to like four or five hundred dollars. I want to try to keep it under two hundred at the most. Anyways, um, a shout out once again to the homeboy, Mr. Tyro Magnus himself. Um, he actually re did a reaction review to this um, Dragon Ball Z trailer that just came out, which was about a couple days ago. It was June 26th when it came out. It's June, June 30th while, while I'm doing this reaction right now. So I'm going to put the link to the video in the description box below, or you can check out the on the side sidebars right here for my annotation if you new people want to watch the um video with me if you haven't seen it yet it's got about 150,000 views and it's pretty crazy not bad at all so um dbz resurrection of f probably means frieza resurrection of frieza trailer release for the u.s and canada august 4th and 12th that's when it comes out huh um, I'm not sure if anyone else around the world got this as well, besides, you know, here in the United States and in Canada, but, um, shout out to the people that did. If you did see it, please don't put any spoiler alerts in the comments below. That would be very much appreciated. And I'm seeing if there's going to be any thunderstorms right now. That's why I'm a little nervous. So if you see me jump like a pussy, <laughs> you know why. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's begin. Hopefully you guys um, are Dragon Ball Z fans like myself. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Three, two, one. There was another one that Tyro Magnus did before I start this reaction. He actually did it on World Star Hip Hop, which was weird because many people don't know me. I really hate the hell out of that website. It's completely disgusting. It's shit. And it's crap. I hate it with a passion. It's like I do it 4chan and uh, like I used to hate Tumblr. Anyways, let's begin this thing. Three, two, one. Let's get it in. Hopefully, it's good. Anything Dragon Ball Z to me is always going to be good. Here we go. Oh shit, that's not loud enough. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Oh shoot! They were showing the part where Trunks sliced Frieza in half in the whole Majin Buu, not Majin Buu, in the Cell series. Or the Android series. Oh god, that's cool. They're using a different animation too, it looks like more fluid the animation with this anime. Oh, oh the same dude did Piccolo and Vegeta, he's doing it again, Chris Sabbath. To get revenge against what the heck? Man, I don't like who's doing Frieza's voice. This sounds nasty as hell. What sort of fool do you think I am? Oh, Ugh. Uh-uh, I don't like who's doing Frieza's voice in this, like, movie. Or in this DBZ series. Right, let's do this. Oh, shoot. Master Roshi got all buffed up like he did in the original Dragon Ball series. Holy crap. It was Krillin. Was he going to use the destructive disc? Oh, no, I guess not. From original creator Akira Toriyama. Shout out to that man, he's a god. Yes, the guy that kept Goku's voice the same. That would have sucked they changed his voice. That's Vegeta. Oh snap, see what he's gonna do. Oh, an epic rivalry reborn. I, I, I would not even disagree with that at all. I would not even argue with that statement. The follow up of Battle of the Gods, you can't afford to miss. Oh my god, I hope the god this is real. There goes TM. <laughs> Piccolo, special being cannon, yes, let's go. Ooh, destructive this, he did use it, yes! Oh no. Oh, he has a final form. Oh, there it is. He's probably gonna turn gold like they showed in the trailer. Yep, he did turn gold. Oh god. Ooh. Damn. That is sick as hell. Don't miss the limited theoretical trailer August 4-12. Oh, he's gonna go Super Saiyan God. Come on, Goku. Let's go. Kamehameha. Oh, shoot. What the heck is that? 
He went blue Super Saiyan God for a second. That's not bad at all. <laughs> That's good stuff. I like that very much. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I care Toriyama from the bottom of my heart. You are amazing. You literally just made my whole childhood worth reliving all over again. Back as a 90s kid. Holy shit, dude. Fucking A, fucking A. Where do I even begin? Well, let's start with the cons first. The biggest con, obviously, I really don't like who's doing Frieza's voice. It sounds really crappy and disgusting. He sounds a lot worse than he did in the original Dragon Ball series. I like the person that did the original Frieza's voice that did it back when DBZ was still a thing back in the mid-late 90s, early 2000s. Back when they used to show it a lot in Toonami, which they still show down there now on the weekends, but it's not as prevalent on TV as, as much as it is on the internet, because the internet nowadays is pretty much the main form of medium that a lot of people use now more than they do with television nowadays. But um, back then it was still a huge ass thing for TV to like premiere all of these anime series because you couldn't really go on the internet for these type of things. And if you could, um, the internet was very slow, was crap, and it was complete shit at that time because everyone had dial up before, you know, these high speed like internet things started coming in. 1080p, 1280p things started like bouncing and popping out of nowhere literally just a couple years ago not too long ago and um yeah other than that let's start with the cons yeah i didn't like the voice of frieza um i wish they would have showed more attacks from like i know they show krillin's um destructo disc i hopefully he learned some more new moves i know tn was there but where the heck was chao su at you know chao su that little clown thing that's always with tn all the time it's always protecting his back and yamcha was there he still has those little glasses from what he did with Battle of the Gods, so just, that's pretty funny. They kept him kind of relevant a little bit. I wish they would have had him with the long hair version like they did in the original DBZ. He was a lot cooler than the nerdy looking Yamcha. And uh, one last um, thing I, I kind of have a little bit of an issue. Where the heck is Goten and Trunks? Like, you know, when they do that Super Saiyan like um, fusion form. Fusion? Ha! You know, many people remember that back in the day. Like I do, personally, myself. Now let's get to the pros. Oh my god, there's a lot a lot of good pros in this um theoretical trailer thing. Resurrection of F, man. I'm hoping that they do play it over here in Vegas, but they probably won't. Because whenever they do, like, not playing at select theaters, they usually, for me, I either got to go all the way down to Arizona or California for that. Because here in Nevada, they really don't do that very much. I think the closest place is probably, like, three, four hours away from me, which is Laughlin. That's where they did um the whole special, like, movie series for, like, um, My Little Pony and for um, select theater places, like when they show that George Lopez shows spare parts, and a couple other like select select type of movies that they'll, they'll play in certain places. I usually have to go to Laughlin most of the time there, or go down to Arizona or Cali to see that, because over here in Vegas, they never pick this city for like a select theater type of place, which kind of sucks ass. So yeah, it, it sucks wasting all that gas money, but if it's a really good ass movie I'm real hyped for, I'll do it. But if not, then I'll just pretty much pass it along until it goes on DVD and Blu-ray later on, six, eight months later. Anyways, <clears throat> let's go for the pros now. They show Piccolo, who's using a special bean can like he always did, along with, um, what's it called? They did show Goku, he ended up going Super Saiyan with that blue hair. That looks sick as hell. I remember a couple months ago I saw pictures and leaks, something on AmiAmi or um, Core Core Magazine, they were showing like, how um goku was gonna go super saiyan god from one to s double super saiyan god he's gonna go blue air now that was cool as fuck i'm not gonna lie very awesome very smooth as butter um the animation was point to the t it was very fluid the animation i really like how they did it pretty cool it looks a little bit more modern than what you see nowadays with modern day anime like manga series that you'll see either on tv or on the internet or somewhere or, you know on your tablet phone wherever you're watching it from or on netflix even i don't know hulu wherever you watch um, TV series from. Anyways, last things I want to touch base with before I go, I wonder how they're going to like um, implement the whole like gathering the seven Dragon Balls and making a wish out of something. I think, obviously, they're probably going to do it at the beginning of the movie, as you guys saw, if you did watch the trailer with me. Um, what's it called? That's really, really cool if they do, because, you know, I think it's one of Frieza's, like, um, his original, like, um, army soldier veterans that used to help him out with battles and all that it's probably like one of frieza's father or frieza's mother if he had a mom i doubt it um he probably ended up granting a wish to bring frieza back to life after trunks killed him obviously and um i guess they're going to implement that sort of wishing system into this movie because they didn't show i don't think they showed it at all they didn't show the sub dragon balls at all in the battle of the gods movie last year 
So I, I'm a little curious on that. I'm very curious, as a matter of fact. And then the last thing I want to see, I want to see if they do end up bringing, like, fusion, like, um, fusion Super Saiyan evolution into this movie. Like, maybe they're going to fuse Vegeta with Goku and they'll do triple Super Saiyan God instead of a double. That would be sick as fuck. Really awesome. I would love nothing more in the world to see that come true. And um, that's pretty much all I had to say about this movie. Um, trailer reaction review. Links in the description box below if you want to watch it yourself. And on this annotation, you go to answer rewind all the way back from the beginning if you missed it. And peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and beggars. And we'll see you when I see you. You guys have a good day, have a night, wherever around the world. Don't drink smoke weed at the same time. Don't take it reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective out there. And until then, that's it, guys. Peace out, ladies and bye. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. You guys stay on the grind. Stay safe. Stay healthy. All that good stuff. Be easy. Be you. Do you. Do yourself. I'm out like sauerkraut. Talk to you guys in the next video. Um, stay tuned for more future content on this channel. And stay tuned for more updates every single day. Talk to you guys soon. Lates, goodbye. I'm out of here. It's getting real dark. I'm unfortunate I'm to use the, whatchamacallit, <laughs> the lamp for the next three videos I'm going to have to do, unfortunately. But you know what? Hopefully it doesn't kill my electricity bill too much. <laughs> Take it easy. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Hopefully you're hyped as I am for this movie. I'm hoping to God it comes here to Vegas, but it's probably going to be in Laughlin. But like I said, I won't. I wouldn't be pissed to do a four-hour drive just to see this movie in theaters. And hopefully, maybe it might be in 3D. I doubt it. But if it does, all the more um, worthy to pay 10 bucks for this thing. Deuces, I'm out of here. Peace.